because I'm home now. Already, that was quick. You must have been confused. Guys, what a start to the day. What a start to the vlog. What a start to the week. So, stupid Carl decides to pack his case. I decide to head to the station. I had a shoot today. That's what I was packing for. I was then going to head to the shops to do some retail therapy afterwards because I'm going on holiday in the next couple of weeks. So I was gonna get some new bits, I was gonna take you with me, I was gonna show you everything I got. And then we got to the train station and I was like, it's awfully quiet. And there was no one on the platform, there was no trains coming, nothing was happening. And then I decided to go online and check when the next train was coming. And it wasn't because today is a train strike day. So I had not checked. So a bit of a waste of I mean, it's still early, but a bit of a waste of a morning packing my case, filming me packing my case, filming me getting ready into a dapper outfit with nowhere to go. So yeah, this vlog has not kind of gone in the direction I wanted to because I had all of those things planned and now they're not happening, are they, Carter? But you're happy because we can go on a walkies earlier. We can go on a walkies now, whereas we would have had to go later. So yeah, not ideal. So I'm kind of trying to think where I'm gonna go with this. And what I think I might do is, today I've got loads of admin to do anyway, or I had loads of admin to do when I got back. So I might crack on with that. I have a cupboard up here that is just full of dog stuff. So it's got like treats, it's got vitamins, dog sprays, and I mean, 80% of it I get sent and just don't use. So there's this massive cupboard just full of products. Are you okay? just full of products that don't get used. So I think I'm gonna do a little clear out of that, feel like I've been productive because the day has, yeah, not gone to my productive plan. Um, and then what I might do is I might jiggle things around because my end of my week has changed anyway. Cut a long story short, because you'll see as this week, I mean, this week's probably not gonna to go to plan anyway, because when you start like this, you start as you mean to go on. So I'm sure it's gonna be one hell of a week of complications and mishaps. But um, I was gonna be taking Carter to Leicester to my parents on Friday because I'm going to the Cotswolds for the weekend with my partner for his friend's 40th birthday, which they're doing this big 40th birthday bash. But then I was like, Do you know what? I wanna bring Carter with me. So on Friday, I've saved myself a trip drawn to Leicester so I can get stuff done then. So tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do everything that I was supposed to do on Thursday, on Friday now, and then we might go shopping tomorrow instead. So today we'll have a kind of at home day. Me and you, we can bond. Yes. You've got your fresh new cut as well. Should we show the guys your fresh new cut? Look, he's been to the groomers. He's had all of his body chopped off, ready for summer. So you're nice and fresh and airy. Mwah. And not too hot. You look like a baby chow chow now with no fur. Um, and then tomorrow we'll go shopping and I'll show you everything I got then. I'm going to go to a different shopping centre. I'm not going to go into London now. I'm going to go to Blue Water, which is in Kent. Oh, don't you just love when a, a plan just doesn't go to plan? But we improvise, don't we? And then we can go on our walkies now. Should we show them your body first? Yeah? You're getting dirt all over my white trousers, which is not ideal. I love you. Give me a kiss if you love me. Give me a kiss if you love me. No? Give me a kiss. Yay! Love you too. Come on then, let's, let's have a bonding day.
let's just recap on yesterday. Yesterday was one of those days, it was a complete write-off. Um, if I'm being honest, I don't know if you guys have these kind of days as well, but it was one of those days where my anxiety was just like through the roof. I just felt really angry. I felt anxious. I had this kind of like, just feel it. I don't know, it's, it's like hard to explain. I used to get it all the time, but then I did therapy. But it's like an angry feeling in your belly. And it's like, if anyone pisses you off on that day, you're just in attack mode. And I just think nothing went right. I mean, I did do a little clean up of the cupboard, which you would have seen, but I just couldn't really pick the camera up for the rest of the day because I just felt really anxious. But today is a new day and today I'm doing some retail therapy. So I've just got to Blue Water Shopping Center. I'm not gonna lie, I do sometimes find shopping still quite stressful because I never really go with the intention intentions on to buy anything. So I don't really know what I've come to buy. But as I said, Earlier on in the video, I am going on holiday in a couple of weeks, which is super exciting. And I just want to go and pick up some new kind of shirts and maybe some shorts. So I just want to treat myself, have a day of retail therapy, a day of calmness after yesterday. And hopefully we'll go home with some nice new bits. So I'm really bad at filming when it comes to these things because I'm trying to think about what I want to buy. There's, I'm quite shy around people so as much as i do vlogging and as much as i do social media i am quite a shy person so i'm not like one of these people that can just turn the camera on and stop like i'm currently sitting in my car as you can see i'm not one of these people that can just film in front of everyone i get really yeah nervous so and then i end up blabbering out a load of crap so i don't know how much of this i'm gonna film but i will try and take and i will take the camera in with me and do a little couple of shots but fundamentally what you guys want to see is what I pick up so I will when I get home put the camera back on and show you guys hopefully what I managed to come out with and not spend too much money because who likes spending money at the end of the day Guys, I am back. We were partly successful. I did get some bits to show you. But as soon as I walked into the shopping centre, I was like, why am I even here? I didn't have a clue what my intentions were to buy. So then I had to go and sit down and have a coffee and kind of scroll through my old summer pictures, look at what kind of items I already had because I was thinking, I don't even know why I've came. I don't even know what I've come to buy. And obviously, as you can imagine, a shopping center that has hundreds of stores, I'm like, where am I even going to? I can't spend my whole day just looking around every store. But when I had my coffee, I zenned out, thought about the essential things that I needed for my holiday, and I have come back successful. I feel like there's still so much I wanna buy, but I think I prefer to shop online. I feel like shopping in stores, I feel like they never have your size. I feel like the changing rooms are always so hot. I'm like, get me out of this changing room. And I also feel like when I buy stuff online and it comes to the house, um, I can try it on with the clothes that I've already got. So like I can try it on with items that go with it. Today I wore my comfy jeans and I feel like a lot of the items that I was trying on just don't go with the jeans, so it was hard for me to picture if I actually liked it or not. But anyway, but let me show you what I did get. So, we first of all got, these are from Primark. Now, I always nip into Primark. It's super cheap, super affordable, and sometimes you can really just pick up some essential like items. I get a lot of my t-shirts from Primark. And like I said, sometimes you can just pick up things that you're like, oh, do you know what? Actually, I like that. And for instance, I really, when I sat down for my coffee, I was like, I really want a pink pair of swim trunks. I feel like a pink pair of swim trunks really pairs up nicely with a white shirt. So like a beach kind of look. I went in and these, I know they're just plain and simple pink shorts, 
but they were four pounds. So I'm like, where is another brand? I did actually buy another pair of swim trunks from Tommy Hilfiger, but they didn't have my size, so I've had to order it to the house. They were 55 pounds, these were four. So you just can't go wrong with going into Primark. Also, I didn't actually try this on because by the time I got to Primark, I was in that kind of mental head state that I was like, I just can't be bothered to try anything more on. I'm just gonna buy it and if I don't like it, I'll take it back. But I got this really cool, it's a shirt and it does do up, but I thought for a beach, this could look really nice with a white pair of swim trunks that I've got. And it's kind of like a netted sort of material. So it's gonna be, it is a little bit thicker, but as it's netted and it's got holes in it, it's gonna very, be very airy and stuff because we are expecting warm weather when we are in Mallorca. So they're the two items that I picked up from um, Primark. Next, I did the thing that I always do. After I'd finished my coffee, I was like, you can't go wrong with visiting the Zara store. Some stores I walk in and I'm like, oh, it's like I'm trying to force myself to buy something. There's only a couple stores that I can walk in and I always know that I could walk out with something and that's Zara and Reese. And then you're going into like Boss, you go Boss and stuff, but there I'm always debating, do I want to spend that much money on whatever item I've seen? But in Zara and Reese, I just always walk out with something because I love them. Today I did not go into Reese because I knew I'd walk out spending a small fortune, so I stayed clear. So let me show you what I got from Zara. I really changed things up as well, actually, in Zara. I've gone for some bright colours and prints. As we're moving into summer, I am one of these people that I stick to black, I've tried to move into white, I'm on beige, like I've implemented, that's the right word? Implemented? I've added into my wardrobe a, a bit more like pastel colours. But today, I've completely gone all out there. We've gone for this, I'd say it's like a mustardy kind of green. I know mustard is yellow, but it's kind of like an off green. And I did try it on with these jeans and it kind of still looked okay. But I can just imagine this with a nice pair of smart cropped trousers or a pair of black jeans is gonna look really nice. It's like a denim kind of material um, and it fit really nice. I feel like Zara is a hit or miss. You can try some things on and they literally feel like they're just hanging off of me. Whereas these shirts that I picked really fit perfectly, especially around the arms. I don't like them too kind of baggy. Um, and these were all perfect. So I will link them down in the description box below if you like a fitted shirt like me. Next, I went for another kind of beach vibe shirt, which was this. It's got stripes to it. The stripes are kind of like a, a baby bluey kind of gray and then a nice um, beige colour going down with the stripe as well. I really like when I go on holiday having a bit more of a v-neck shirt. So this one, when it's done up, you can leave the button undone and it's got a nice kind of v-neck to the shirt. Let me tell you the prices as well. So just reversing back to the second shirt from Primark, it was £15. So £19 for two items in Primark. I mean, can you blame me? Can you blame me? Zara, kind of moving up in price a little bit, but still very reasonable and affordable. The first shirt was 29 99 That's definitely reasonable. This one was 32 99 Next, I wanted to go something in a bit of print. So I went for this. It looks like someone is doing an art class. Um, but yeah, this one was 32 99 I get all of these in a small, by the way. But yeah. Got a bit of green on there, very artsy, but I think this to go out for dinner will look really nice. Also open, again with a vest underneath, will look really nice as well. Next, oh my back, I'm getting so old, my back is like, oh, did you hear that? Oh, right, next. This one is a really weird kind of material, it's like a, a stretchy kind of material but it fit so good. It was kind of like, I'm gonna say it, but like a scuba suit, where it kind of like fits really well to your body. It wasn't too tight, but it just fitted in all the right areas, I should say. 
So this one, a nice white with a bit of kind of blue print going through it. I really, really liked this one on. I think it was actually one of my favourites. I think the greeny mustardy coloured one was my favourite. And then this, just because of the fit. And it's a very kind of subtle print. But yeah, this one's $35.99. Next, oh I forgot I got this, but I really liked this as well. Obviously I liked it, I purchased it. This one was $29.99. Again, I just wanted to go for a really bright colour. I actually, when I walk around a store, I look at mannequins because I really feel like stores do really well with their mannequins. Not every store, but when I look online at Zara and stuff, I sometimes copy exactly what their models are wearing. So, I mean, applause to whoever does the merchandising and doing all the models because it works with me. And this was with a white t-shirt or white vest again underneath. And I thought this is gonna look really nice on a holiday. It's really gonna pop, maybe with a nice white pair of shorts or a white pair of kind of trousers. And last of all, I've gone for this kind of salmon pink. And this one, again, a really nice color. It can be daytime or nighttime. I just really wanted to add more colors into my wardrobe. It was uh, $32.99. Again, a really good fit on the arms. It wasn't too baggy. I think the only one that had arms that were a little bit more loose fit was the artsy one. Uh, where are we? This one was a bit more looser fit. Whereas this one, really nice around the arm. Again, that kind of V-neck sort of colour. Loved the colour. So yes, very successful trip to Zara. The next, right, this is a new one for me. I always see Gant, the store, G-A-N-T. I can spell, I swear. Um, but I never really go in there. And they are a bit more on the premium side. They're a little bit like Reese, a bit like Tommy Hilfiger, a bit like Hugo Boss. But I thought, you know what, I do want to switch things up and I do want to get more brands into my wardrobe rather than always wearing the same brands. So I thought, you know what, they are investment pieces because they're a little bit better quality than some of the Zara's and Primark's and stuff. So what I thought I would do is, is pick up some new t-shirts from Gantt. So they have the brand on there and they were... The garden has just turned up and... Now we've got the lovely lawnmower going on outside, so I do apologise for that. So, I got three items from here. I got this navy t-shirt with Gant there. This fit really well. Like, a lot of brands that I go into, I just don't like t-shirts from their brands because they hang off of me. I like a really nice fitted t-shirt. And actually, I mean, I've never tried Gant stuff on before. I was pleasantly surprised. Hence why it's come home with me. Next, something that just stuck out to me. And again, as you can see, there's a pattern here. I'm going for, maybe I'm like Joseph and the Technicolor coat because my wardrobe is very bland, but it will not be with this polo. Now, again, a really, really nice fit. The arms were really nice as well. And just the color sold it to me. I just thought, a nice white pair of trousers with this polo kind of tucked in maybe. It's going to look so nice on holiday. And I do believe, this is me not blowing my own trumpet, but I do look good in colours, I have been told. Yellows, oranges and greens apparently are the colours for me. So, hence why they are in the shopping basket today. And finally, my last item that I purchased, apart from the swim trunks that will be coming through the post from Tommy Hilfiger, I went for this nice yellow tee. Again, a nice little bit of branding of Gantt on the front. This is more of a mustard colour than the shirt. But yeah, I just feel like yellow is beautiful on holiday. Again, with a white pair of trousers, it just really brings kind of that summer vibes to life. And as for like the navy one, it was just a really good fit. So once I tried them on, it sold it to me. And they... Oh, sorry. Have I been missold? That says £35 on the tag. And they have charged me £45. Arch of Shield t-shirt. Have I been ripped off? Well, there's a dispute right there. That says £45. 190 Oh, I hate when this happens. That means now I've got to go back to the store and like... 
See, this one doesn't say a price on it. So this one, I assume, is 45. But this one actually says 35 pounds on it. But then on the receipt, it says 45. So, I mean, I believe that you have to give them the price that it says on the tag. So, a little bit disappointed at that. But I'll get it sorted. But they are my pickups. Um, all of them will be linked down in the description box below. Kata, we come on a little trip. Yeah. So guys, it is now Saturday. Yesterday was just a write-off. I had so many things that we had to do, so I've now jumped back on on Saturday. We have just arrived in the Cotswolds. We've got our friend's 40th birthday bash tonight. It's a black tie event. We've brought Carter along to the Cotswold and a little road trip with us. We have arrived super late, and also they wouldn't let us check into our room on time. So we're running really behind schedule. So I'm gonna quickly get into my tux, jump back on to the camera, show you what I'm wearing. And then we're gonna head to the birthday bash. I would show you around the room, but we kind of booked something that was super cheap, super close to where we're staying so we can walk home. So it's not anything to kind of show. So yeah, time to get ready for the birthday bash. Guys, I am sweating like a pig this room has no air conditioning and it's like 23 degrees outside i'm not complaining about the weather but i do have a tux on with a suede jacket and my shirt's really warm but i wanted to quickly show you what i'm wearing before we head out to the party so as i just said we're in the cotswolds for our friends 40th birthday bash they're doing a black tie event so i've got this suede double-breasted blazer on from m &S. It was from the like England football collection. I fell in love with it when I saw it. It was so hard to get it, so I don't think you can anymore. But Matt picked it up for me for Christmas. I've got these trousers from a suit that I have from Reese and a shirt from Reese. Dickie Bow is Moss Bros. Shoes are Moss Bros. I need to get the sw uh, jacket off as quick as I can because as much as I love it, it's not the right temperature for it. Matt, can I show them what you're wearing? <sighs> Matching you. Hot. Looking, it's so warm. Also, he's got one of these cummerbunds. 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 My trousers are so tight. We picked up a bit at uh, BMW. We picked it. I wish we picked up a bit. We picked up a Burger King before we came, and I just shouldn't have ate it because now my trousers are like bursting out. Carter, bless him, in this room. We're gonna have to. He's gonna end up being in the bathroom, but. We are super late because, as I said, we checked in late. So we're going to head out to the party. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film because it's not my house, it's not my party, so I don't want to be shoving cameras in people's faces. But if not, I will show you a little bit and then I will check in with you tomorrow when we're en route back to London. Time to go party. <laughs> Guys, I am so sorry. I feel like I might as well give up vlogging. I am the worst. I've said this so many times, so I kind of feel like I've prepared you for it. I'm the worst at like going to events and stuff and just filming. I think I mentioned in this video, I can get quite shy and nervous around like filming around people. So whereas like we went to my partner's friend's birthday, none of those guys are kind of like, they're not into social media, they don't really understand what I do. So it's hard for me sometimes to be like walking around with a camera starting filming because they're like, what are you doing? Get the camera out of my face. So when we arrived, it's now Sunday, just got home. I'm just about to go on a walk because my legs from driving three hours are like stiff. So I need to go and stretch my legs. But um, yeah, yesterday was just a write off in the sense of filming. Obviously I had every intention to film, hence why I filmed us getting into our tuxes to go. And when we arrived, I mean, I can only tell you what it was like, but it was beautiful. They have, um, where their manor house is, they have like a side house that they do, uh, they rent out for Airbnb. And they've just done the whole pool area. They have a swimming pool that's all heated. And it gave me very much like wedding vibes. When we arrived, like everyone was obviously looking so fancy in their black ties. It was, yeah, it was just a really lovely evening around the pool. They had amazing food. We did canapes rather than, a sit down, which I kind of prefer because I feel like when you sit down for a dinner, it really kind of zonks me out and I end up getting tired. As I feel like when you're on your feet and you're picking up food, one, you do get drunk easier because you eat less food. Um, but two, I feel like I get less tired. 
But um, yeah, they had a pizza van turn up in the afternoon, drinks were flowing, um, it was nice to see some of my partner's friends that I've not seen in a while. So we just had a lovely, lovely evening, but I just think, whereas I turn up and I get straight into the night, and I didn't even get my phone out, I did not even go on my phone all night, which is the sign of a good night, but I just completely forgot to film anything, so... Yeah, I guess that whole Saturday filming was a waste of time, even though you got to see what we wore. So I am going to close off this vlog now because it's the end of the week and my brain is frazzled from this week has just been a complete and utter disaster. Nothing has gone to plan. Thankfully, I did get some shopping bits, obviously some bits from when I went shopping. But yeah, hopefully next week is a new, more positive and productive week. But um. I'm just unpacking my bits now, going to go out for a nice stroll, enjoy this weather, but I will see you guys on next week's vlog. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, if you want to ask me anything, pop them down in the comments box below. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekends, or whenever you're watching this, your week, and I will see you next week on another video. Take care.